Thunderblade, sure. Get out of here now. Lovely. Right, let's make proper progress. There's nothing on the other side of this room, is there? No, there is not. I could have just looked forward and not looked at my map, but you know what? Whatever works. We need to go here next. Malice is in the way. Do I need to go to the next doorway to do it? I think I might have to. Yeah, that's not a problem. The next doorway is literally just a little bit off. Okay, give me a moment. Let's us swing around from the observation room and see what there is to see. We'll get where we need to get. This is not the... Yes, it is the spot. I don't see the door. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. Okay, the map was... I was slightly off or I just wasn't reading it right. This is just only a little bit to the west of where we were before. And now, we get to use a mechanic we never see properly. Lifting up gates with Cryonis. If it ever got you lost, I can, like, if it got stuck in it, I can understand. It's a very underused mechanic. They, they should, if only they could have found a way to use it more. Anyway, here's the other side of that door, I do believe. Yep, here we are. And still no malice. So it's just here to, like, cause a little delay. Alrighty. Well, anyway, here is a great hall. It's not actually that great, but... Oh! Hello, buddy. Wah. Thank you. And slice, slice, slice. Oh, no. I do not want to lose this. There we go, Rusty Halbert will do it. They, no, wow, you really don't take enough damage sometimes, you know, buddy. Bam! Nope, still not done. But, oh, don't hurt me with the mats. Oh, th well, if you, this is nearly broken, that's okay. I'm all right with that. Bam! Thank you. Right. Right. Uh, let's go to Royal Halbert, sure. Oh, you're still alive! Thank you. Good lord. It is satisfying, though, how you can just go through and sweep down all these enemies now. How I can, specifically. It's nice. Right, now we are making our way... Oh, actually, there's two parts here. We can go up or down. Uh, let's go down first, because it very clearly looks more closed off, and then we'll make our way up again. Makes sense, since we're still doing the lower parts. Right. Hey, you. Blow the way up. Thank you. What is this? This is just treasure. Okay. Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. Sure. I can't actually tell if that was the sound. I don't remember it anymore, because <laughs> I'm still not playing with any sound. Oh, well. Welcome to the guard's chamber. This seems to be the room I always end up in accidentally, and everyone else seems to as well. So this is just over here. Very simple. This is another place you can get the royal guard set. Right, I want to freeze you guys, give you a bit of a scare. Thank you, Mifa, coming in again. And I actually wanted to use Obozo's Fury here, because I didn't really want to deal with you guys too much. So, if you can let me... You know what, fine, if, you, if you're going to be that much of a... Well, I think there's more enemies down here as well, so it'd be good to sort of activate all of you. Thank you. Make your way... Actually, if I've got... Let's actually use the fire arrows we've got, and then blow up the bomb. And then use Obozo's Fury. Alright, that sounds like a good plan. Hey, buddies, make your way around here, please. Okay, Moblin, you're taking a while. Oh, you found me again, and you're running away. Okay, good job. If you, that's probably your smartest move, but uh, wow, that guy was not his smartest move. You know what, dude? You're really starting to annoy me now. Oh my god, okay, this is annoying the heck out of me now. Ugh, just... Abosa's Fury is all I'm trying to do! Thank you! Christ! I was not supposed to have this much trouble, but also enemy, every enemy seems to be like white in Hyrule Castle. Not the ones in the hallways, but like all the main rooms. They're all white, the strongest variant of them all. It's a nice extra trial. It really knows that I've played this game enough, apparently. And we're low on health again, so let me grab some hearts. Sure, that's the last of them, but I'll grab more soon enough. Oh, nope. Nope. There we go. I'll grab some soon enough for the final fight soon. Don't worry, we have plenty of food, I'm sure. We went to the dining hall already, so we should be fine. The theory is working. Hey, you. All right. You, ugh, I did not want to freeze you, you know. Oh, whatever. Oh, Daruk, you're really saving me right now. Ooh, that was... I don't even know how I survived that, but I did. Okay. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's just go master sword on you guys, because you're really annoying me right now. Also, apparently... We don't have full health, but the thing is still glowing, so does that mean I can actually still use the beam? That's impressive, that's true. Let me find out. Hello, Daruk, you're still around. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, didn't think so. It's just glowing because we're in an evil area, I guess. It does work best against the evil, so it's the Blade of Evil Bane, after all. How many times? Lord! Slice! Oh, wow, I should have got a flurry on that, but oh well. Thank you for finally going down. Gosh, they have way too much health now. 
Anyway, for our rewards down here, we get a whole bunch of monster parts, which is very nice. A Royal Guard Claymore, probably the most powerful weapon in the game, pretty much. And more weaponry. We have the Rusty Shield, Royal Claymore, and a whole bunch of nothing. Cool. Either way, I wanted to come here I want to come through everything, basically. I mean, a lot of people just go through Hyrule. I want to explore pretty much everything. Not so much the secret areas, but it's nice to just see everything, you know? To fully... We've seen everything else in Hyrule. I mean, sure, I kind of omitted a couple of things, like the Hyrule Compendium, which isn't a site, so oh well, and some mini-games, but like... Ugh, excuse me, swallowing halfway through my sentences again. Um, just, you know, we've seen every other corner of the place. We've gotten every Korok in the game and every region, so why not take every spot of Hyrule Castle as well? Now, have we got to go around to another path to get up here again? Looks like we might have to, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well, it doesn't take us long. I'll be back in a minute on the outer exterior to go and get the other side of this malice. So here we are on the outer area, we're just above by this sort of uh, little building here and there's a whole bunch of malice again but the doorway I believe is on the other side of it so, and I can't, I went around the outer outer part of this building and I couldn't find the eye so it might be a matter if we have to climb through? I'm gonna find out real quick. I mean, there is a way, there's always a way. So I just want to ex find it, basically. Let's see how this goes. Oh lord, uh, no, I don't see anything of a doorway here either, so like, I may be looking in the wrong place. I am very dead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I wasn't actually able to fully suss out how to get into that place, so I'm thinking we need to go out to the second door because I couldn't find the Eye of the Malice. So looking down there, oh, looks like this is where the elevator we were at earlier. Yes, we are. We finally made progress. So, you need to go up, block the lane. Yeah, it looks like that's the case, yeah. Either way, this is a loop. This would have been the other end of the path anyway. So we kind of ch cheated. I feel like it was all blocked off anyway, so it's not really cheating. It was just the only way it was allowed. So here is an eye that I believe is going to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Or at least it, it's better. I hope so. I deserve it, I feel. Thank you. You can go now. That is directly above where we were before. So that should take out the malice that we saw on that pipeline early, which might actually unlock the treasure. So I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, Royal Guard's bow I do not want to damage. Um, I'm also going to change to the Claymore. I'm going to take off my bow. Go to that one, sure. Let's go to Jeremy. Oh, you're also an Alice. A malice, not an Alice. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, this is the pipeline that was blocking this before. Okay, so what is here? you got to be a treasure, or are you just a link to the outside? You're just a link to the outside? That's cool. Alrighty, let's make our way down and go back to where we were before by the uh, guard's chambers. So, where are we? We want to go back down this way just to see what there is. So, let's see. Running through. Actually, I think this is the malice that was we were blocked by malice earlier. Yeah, so we've just broken that with the eye on the other side and the other eye from the other part. Okay, cool. I've got my bearings now. You are... Okay, yeah, you are gone because there was a cursed moblin that came out of you earlier. You are just a normal path. What are you over here? Anything? I mean, we actually already ran through you. I think you're just a path to the exit now, to another exterior portion. And then, yeah. Alrighty, so that is that whole loop of stuff done, pretty much. If I have a look at the map, you'll see we're back to the elevator, which is all nice, but also, like... We've done that minecart, we're looking at the bottom now, the minecart area down to the, the um, lockup. We went to the docks, got to the kind of king study, we got to the library, we went around all this part with the stone talus, we got to the dining hall, got to the armory the connect that's actually connected to the dining hall, we got to the observation room, and we got to the guard's chamber, taking us all the way back up to where the elevator portion is here. The only other inside part to go is up higher, and if we go, if you see on the map you can see it is above us directly, just a tiny little room. If I go to the exterior portion, you'll notice ba -ba -da -ba, that exterior room is a tiny little tower just on the western side of Hyrule. It's kind of sticking out on its own. So, nope, um, I got my directions wrong. Wh where is it? We should be able to see it. I think that's it over there. Let's go directly towards it, shall we? So, um, I know I'm wearing my pants now because of climbing gear, but hey, I'm using it for the climbing gear. I use my pants for speed boosts occasionally, but otherwise we don't use them. That's the way of this let's play rolling. Okay, we are right next to it. Is Oh yeah! <laughs> Hello, there you are. 
Yeah, let's go up the uh, bridge first. I want to have that dramatic bridgey moment. Might not have like a moment where we're crossing the bridge and seeing a bunch of our friends shooting cannons from like below and all that, which was, you know, very fun from another finale of a Zelda game, but I still want to experience this bridge nonetheless, cannon or no. And actually, since we have tons of... Ooh, wow, I did not actually think that would stop me. Okay, well, I was going to say, since we have tons of stamina boosting stuff, I kind of want to use it, because otherwise we're not going to. So uh, let's have that one, sure. Give us health as well as tons and tons of stamina speed boost. Ooh, hello. I'm not going to grab you right now. So, here we are kind of cheating the other section of the inner rooms. This is Princess Zelda's room. I don't actually think there was a proper correct way to enter here. You just had to take the exterior path. We just ended up climbing from the side, which is fine. We've seen all of Hyrule at this point. I'll show you the proper way through this room in a moment. First, you can go down and get out of here. So, where are we? We are on this portion. Can I go to the far end first? No, I can't. So this was pro basically the correct way to go. Let's say this is the correct entrance, even though it's clearly not the entrance. This is, once again, Princess Zelda's room. A little bit tarnished, I must admit. She had a nice little fireplace. She also has, though, a nice chunk of lore for us. Thank you for the eduality that I can't carry, so thank you. She has her own little office with a whole chunk of stuff in her diary. I will read that in just a moment. First, let me take her treasure. Thank you for the silver rupee. Don't know why a princess needs money, but alrighty. And actually, that's about all we can do. I'll have a look in that uh, tower in a moment, but prepare yourself. It's already been a long video. It's about to get longer. We have a lot of things to read. Read Zelda's diary? Yeah. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me at ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him as an appointed knight. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Varudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me so long, I grew anxious, uh, anxious? Anxious and wary. It is, say, it is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still not a word passes his lips. I'll oh, never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then... I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic? He must despise me. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed, and I had been told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does, and so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I am unsure of how to put today's events into words, words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever. He saved me, without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiger clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn. Still, he was there for me, I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologise for all that has transpired between us. And then... I will try talking to him, to Link. It's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I always believed him to be, a sim to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems, I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. 
and perhaps I too will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me today again. He told me I have n I am n he told me I have nothing to do more than researching ancient technology. He insisted that I am focus instead on training that will help me awaken my ceiling magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since I was a child and yet mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power is the birthright that is the birthright revades me. Tomorrow, I journey with Link to the spring of power to train, but this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, hallowed by blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a beautiful goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my powers was awoken? Or was, a dream, or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I know. I will know the answer soon, but whether I wished to or not. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Laneru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strange now. I will meet with him when I return. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but... Right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a certain and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. Oof. Well, that is Zelda's diary, suddenly telling us the entire route and path of Zelda's path. Or past, even. We see many of those events unfold in the memories as well, which we are about to collect all of real soon. First, though, let's get to that tiny room in the tower, and then let's make our way to the Sanctum. If I can do any kind of climbing, it would be helpful. Thank you. Okay, here we are back at least this part of the tower. Sure, you know what? Let's just use... Well, not here. I want to go a little bit further out. I didn't expect to use Ravali's Gale as well, but hey, let's use all four champions on this video. Why not? Get out our ancient arrows and... <laughs> Goodbye. Where is... Or what is this tiny little room to the side? This is Princess Zelda's study with a silent princess. A very rare flower, supposedly only showing up in sacred places, and this counts as one too. Read Zelda's research journal? Sure. Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and P Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. Today, or tomorrow, I embark on an excavation with them. We've hoped to find ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the tech Guidance Stone. It is a rectangular object, small enough to be held in two hands. Sheikah text is featured prominently on it, on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic was discovered, we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feel a bit, feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a, fate, a fight I thought I could win. We did it! We were, finally, we were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing images, perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artistic artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Sheikah slate may have the function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research, and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I have found this unexpected, but Mipha mastered the art constructions with surprising ease. 
Taruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Obosa and Ravali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the, age the guardians we've excavated. But we still... F Ugh, I can't read, I'm sorry. But we still have yet to find all the guardians. The co records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and to only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Reco records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? This is that is pure as Pura's theory, and I concur, yet my experience so far have been fruitless. Still, we must have exhaustively investigated all means of exposing the Calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so as to necessitate such a, fa a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all the adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that even Calamity Ganon returns. Even that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Oof. How's that for exposition and lore? But yes, that is now all that we need to know, and this is the spot of a memory that we will be completing real soon. But that is now the entire interior of Hyrule Castle, and basically, that is all of Hyrule Castle completed. That is all we need to see, know, and do. And, with this guy giving us a bit of an evil eye, thank you, if we look to the sky we see that everything's getting awfully dramatic. And let us- oh, have I run out of the Raleigh scale? Yes, I have. Okay, well then, I guess I better find another way round. Give me a moment. Here we are, round about, just about here we are on location. That was a lot of here we are, and there we go, but here we are, there we go. Now we are finally at the Sanctum, and look at that lighting. Very dramatic, omen field sky. We are just about ready to take on Calamity Ganon. Almost! We have now seen everything there is to see in Hyrule Castle, pretty much, but there are still a handful of things I want to do. Don't worry, this ain't gonna take too long, but there are some Koroks in Central Hyrule we still need to get, including a whole bunch in Hyrule Castle, which is why I haven't done it up to this point. We also still have the third route that I want to do that if you're watching not live you can probably just see now in one of the cards in the corner and if not you'll just have to wait. And then we need to wrap up those side quests in Central Hyrule, literally just give back all the things we've seen and the one in Hatano Village. And then I want to show off the memories but then after all of that we are ready to go up ahead and fight off Rivali's Calamity Ganon. Ready. For now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care and I'll see you in a bit.